composting inside the manure shed may be an option when mortality losses exceed the design capacity of the routine disposal method. For example, with this two-stage bin system, this is about two market age birds per thousand birds per day. When the losses are limited to a few hundred or thousand birds, the manure shed makes it an ideal location for composting. However, if monies to construct this facility were attained with cost share dollars, you should probably confirm this in an allowable use of the structure. Although the same procedure of mixing carcasses with litter previously described can be used, it is often more convenient to use the layering method when dealing with limited losses. This starts with placing 6 to 12 inches of litter of balking agent as a base layer. If the width of the wind row exceeds 12 feet, and if required running over top the pile, a track type skid loader will be required. Next is to add a layer of carcasses. It takes a skilled skid steer operator to even distribute a single layer of market age birds on the compost pile. As before, a layer of balking agent is added, then another layer of carcasses until the pile is about six feet in height. Since tissue degradation is often less with the layering compared to the mixing pile method, turning the compost at about 14 days is essential. After turning, all remaining tissue will need to be covered with litter or bulking agent. By 28 days, there should be 100% soft tissue degradation, and the compost can be land applied or continue to age inside the manure shed. If the circumstances warrant, the mix and pile method can also be used in the manure shed. The birds and litter are removed, transferred to the manure shed, and placed on a base layer, then windrows form and managed in the same manner as the in-house uh, mix and pile method. If these piles exceed six feet in height and loaders run over the material causing compaction, there may be a potential for spontaneous combustion. It is advisable to avoid stockpiling against the wooden sidewalls and to closely monitor the compost temperatures. Another challenge with this procedure with these bigger piles may be getting a balking agent on top of the piles to cover any exposed tissue. In summary, when implemented properly, composting is an environmentally and socially acceptable, biosecure, and cost-effective method for mass mortality disposal. Remember, every form needs a plan to deal with a catastrophic mortality event. Mm -hmm.